Hello Ability Power Gamers, and welcome back to another short guide video. This week we continue looking at the dungeons of World of Warcraft, and enter the Starcade. The Starcade can be found in Stormwind City, but it's easily accessible to the Horde also through the Dungeon Finder. You can queue for the dungeon at levels 20 through 30. At the beginning of the dungeon, there's three quests you can pick up. And then you can start. Now, Stocks is a really, really quick dungeon to run. As a matter of fact, if you're doing a speed run, you can do a full clear in about five minutes. When queuing into looking for dungeon, this is what happens sometimes. Tanks are used to going through full clears, and they're used to everyone in the group having BOAs. I want to show you what can happen when everything isn't exactly what you expect it to be. That's right, low level wipes. Keep in mind that while Starcades is really quick for doing speed runs, and only has three bosses, not everyone you meet in the Looking for Dungeon will be geared to take on mob after mob at a quick pace. Now let's approach the boss the correct way. Big thanks to my guildies who came along on this run and helped show what not to do in stocks. When you go straight down the hall, you'll enter the first boss's area. Once you've defeated all the mobs around him, you can engage the boss. The first boss, Randolph Alok, has three abilities to be aware of. One is called Sweep, which deals melee damage to an enemy and their nearest ally. Sometimes he will channel wildly stabbing which stabs an enemy at an increased rate. But the ability, the only ability you really need to watch out for is called Vanish. At different intervals throughout the fight, Randolph will vanish. When this happens, he can appear anywhere in the room and he will no longer be targeted. So you'll have to retarget him after every vanish. After defeating Randolph, you can go back and take a left and you'll head down the hall toward the second boss, Lord Overheat. Lord Overheat has three abilities. Fireball, which casts a fireball at an enemy. Overheat, which puts a dart on the enemy. And Rain of Fire. Rain of Fire is the only ability you need to watch out for. He will put down a circle on the floor, and Molten Rain will damage all enemies inside it for 9 seconds. It's easily avoidable if you're paying attention. Once overheats down, we run back down the hall and prepare to head toward the third and final boss, everyone's favorite, Hogger. As we're going down the hall, you can see the rooms to the left and right have mobs inside. You do not have to clear all the mobs. Try to stay toward the center of the hall and you should be fine. When entering Hogger's room, you'll notice there's lots of mobs on both sides, as well as rooms full of mobs all around him. Clear out the room Hogger's in, and avoid getting near doorways, and you should be okay with just clearing out the one room. Now for the last boss, Hogger. Hogger has three abilities, 
none of which you need to be too concerned with. The only one of interest is if you're a healer or a tank. And that ability is called Enrage. It will increase his attack speed and deal more physical damage when he's enraged. So healers be prepared to put a few extra heals on your tank depending on their gear. Once you've defeated Hogger, all your quests should be complete. You can turn in one quest here. But the other two quest givers are still located at the beginning of the dungeon. Now you have two choices. You can either run all the way back down the hallways, or simply teleport out of the dungeon and back in to save time. Stockades is probably my favorite dungeon in World of Warcraft because it's really quick, there's no real mechanics you have to be concerned with, and it, it's just fun to run. As you can see, it took my group about 10 minutes, including a wipe, to do a clear. And that's not even doing a speed run, which can be completed in 5 minutes. This is another really good dungeon to run if you're new to the game and want to see how you do in a group setting. But don't take my word for it. Check out the stockade and let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, if you like this video and want to see more of this type of content, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Or you can follow us on Facebook or Twitter. And we'll see you next time on Ability Powered.